Hello, my name is Ridwan. I welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about the uh, Outlook where we'll be granting a user another user's um, mailbox. Basically, we're going to be sharing a particular folder in that user mail box to another um, user. So basically, this is always handy if, let's say, a user in an organization is going on leave and um, a particular folder or email has been received by that um, user frequently from a source, whatever. So basically, this helps by having a particular folder where you can route all those emails from a particular um, sender into that folder. So with this, you can um, move those emails and share this folder with uh, wherever you want to have access to the folder so they can receive those content of those emails basically so and now before any further ado let's go into this and walk through this so in here you can see i have um an uh, a folder here let's say an account which is read one at royinnov.com so this is the, let's say this is the um, main account and this is a person which is info at Roy Innov is trying to share a particular part of their folder with another user basically uh, with this um read one at Roy Innov. So what we're going to do here is um we already have um in the inbox we have a folder called testing which has an email. So let's say this is a folder the user received those emails into this particular folder within the inbox so what we're going to do is to sh share this folder with read one what we need to do is to first share the um the mailbox itself so we'll right click on this click on folder permissions and under um permissions i'm going to create but i already have one here just to remove this for now so we're going to click on add for you to add that user you want to share so, and this is read one so i'm going to add that and click on ok and after doing that we're going to grant this folder visible permission to read one so click on apply and um, click on ok so basically what we've done now is to share the mailbox with it with this user yeah, which means the uh, the mailbox name will be visible to read one and now we want to share a content or a folder in, inside the inbox with read one so for us to share this folder we can just um grant this permission a permission for testing folder to read one it won't be able to have access to that so what we're going to do is to first grant the permission visible permission for the inbox itself so you right click on the inbox click on properties go to permissions and um here we already have this here i can remove this let's try to add read one again so click on add and click on ok and now we're going to make this visible for read one click on apply and click on OK. So basically, read one will see the inbox folder. And after that, then we cannot go to the particular folder which those emails are or emails are coming into that folder. So read one can get have access to that folder. When there's any new email, they actually receive those emails as well. So we're going to right click on testing, click on properties, go to permissions so uh, let's remove this so i'm going to add read one click on add and click on ok so in this part instead of giving visibility now we want read one to have access to the content of the folder itself not just to see the folder testing we want them to have um, a level of permission to do whatever they want within that folder so here i'm going to be granting editor permission this permission comes fully with um, read full details of the emails within that folder. They can edit, create new items within the folder. They can um, basically, the folder is visible as well. So I'm going to grant this and apply, click on OK. So basically, read one is going to see every content 
within the testing folder which we've shared and grant them permission so uh for the purpose of this tutorial i added this account um separately on this outlook so this is let's say uh, info is another user with their account on their own outlook doing all of this to grant permission to read one so for us to make sure we have the access to that folder first i'm just going to remove the info account so we see the different so i'm going to remove the info account and we're close now you notice here we no longer have the info account so for read one to have access to that folder to see that folder within the outlook all you need to do is to just go to file go to account settings account settings then double click on the account which is read one click on more settings advanced here this is where we're going to add the other mailbox which let's say the other user which was going on leave or of sort so basically i'm just going to click on ok so now we can see the fo um the folder name let's say um the user mailbox name rather so this is what we're going to see you click on apply and click on ok and next done close so normally if after doing this if you don't see that account on the left here then you just need to close our look and reopen our look again but so let's close the outlook I'm going to open the outlook again so now we have outlook open again so i'm going to go to the roy in no folder and now you can see we have just this folder um inbox and when i click on inbox i can see testing so when i click on testing folder now you can see we have access to the email itself within this folder so if there's any new emails coming into this folder um Redwan will also have access to this um, to the emails basically i hope i'm able to explain this if you have any question regarding this you can leave a comment and i'll be glad to give that information thank you for listening think believe and develop the future today thank you